Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video where today we return with round 14 of the F1 2006 Championship Edition career mode. Yes, we're back this weekend here for the Turkish Grand Prix. Five races to go of the season and yep, still the championship continues to heat up. If you missed out on the Hungarian Grand Prix, go back, check it out. It was quite a good one uh, and it's meant now that we are 28 points back from Giancarlo Fisichella in the Drivers' Championship. Championship. They're six points back now behind Fernando Alonso. It seems like the top four are slowly staggering themselves out towards the end of the year. But we're coming off a two-win win streak, a two-race win streak even, I should say. We won the Turkish Grand Prix last season as well. Hopefully, we can make it three in a row according to the game this weekend. And yeah, let's see what happens. Get yourself subscribed. We're trying to hit 130k at the moment. I really, really want to try and drag this out to the bitter end. End. Well, last season here, then, probably saw one of the greatest races we've ever had. We had a late race duel with Michael Schumacher um, that we did, I think, ultimately overtake him on the very last lap of the race in our Red Bulls. So, hopefully that's going to mean that once again this weekend we have got some strong pace here. If I remember season one, we actually DNF late on after hitting an oil spill. So, hopefully uh, that is not going to befall us this season. I, I mean, knock on wood, but I don't think we've actually dropped out of a Grand Prix yet by spinning on some oil. We've had a couple of unlucky moments, but generally we go so risk off with them nowadays. It is the only way you can really deal with it on this game. Um, but yeah, obviously we'll get some laps under our belt in free practice. I will join you all in qualifying. Well, I know free practice results aren't really the best measurement as you go into qualifying on this game, but McLaren and BAR... Both, again, actually looking pretty competent here. So that could be really useful for us towards the end of the year. You know, if, say, a Jensen Button or a Kimi Raikkonen can kind of get in with the big boys. Just hopefully means, obviously, we can try and take more points out of them all. But getting the jump up onto the Toro Rossos as we start our first lap. Hopefully, they're not going to dive me down at turn one. Luckily not, as we just about stay on the road with catastrophic understeer. Oh, no. Damn it. Stay out of the wall. Thank you. Well, that's our first lap in the bin. Oh, well, first lap was a complete write-off. And second lap, we've now got loads of traffic as well. So a half a second up. I mean, what is this? Why are you all on the racing line? We're trying to do a lap here. Blue flags on this game. Well, they don't exist, do they? It's an absolute joke. And, well, our second lap has certainly been compromised. But just how badly as we luckily won't spin through there this time. Or making our way then through the final couple of turns. Oh, I've messed up that horrendously. Yano truly was fastest. Looks like Montoya has lowered that benchmark, though. As we are going to do a 131.6. And we do go fastest. Well, I tell you what, then. No surprises in Q1. But Thiago Montero there with an absolute brilliant lap time. 1.3 seconds clear of any of the other backmarkers. And Toro Rosso left scratching their heads. Luizzi, last place on the grid. Right, well, come on then. Q1 was full of drama. Hopefully Q2 with a few less cars on the track is going to be a bit easier for us. Both Renaults are making their way out, so hopefully they'll get out of my way. Oh, turn one here. So difficult to try and get right. I think that's the first time maybe ever I've done it. Oh, come on, Renault. I don't know which one it is, whether it's Fernando or Giancarlo. Well, I need them to move. I wish there was great penalties or something like that. It is Fernando Alonso who... Kind of in the end doesn't do too badly, but it could have been a whole lot better. Through turn 10 we go. This corner is so much fun, even on a controller. Except for when I understeer on the exit. Oh, then much, much tidier second run. This is fantastic as we make our way through the final corner. This is the kind of Toyota pace we're expecting as the Red Bull, I think a DC, is going to set a lap time first. He does a 34. We do a 29.9. Okay. That was quicker than I ever anticipated. Well, Rubens Barrichello, then the big shocker out in Q2 for BAR once again. Um, but yeah, that was we're, we're happy with that. We were 1.6 seconds clear of anyone else. So hopefully another pole position is going to be ours. Right, come on then. One run. It's all it takes here as we move into Q3. But the AI will be better on the heavier fuel. Jensen Button just that ahead of me. Oh, and that's what I mean about the understeer through turn one. Impossible to hit it reliably, it feels like. Well, being a little bit more hesitant then on this lap so far, we know we've got plenty of time in the back pocket, so I don't need to take too many risks early on. 
That, as well as the idea that it's so difficult to try and overtake the AI round here in a race, I'd rather take pole safely by a tenth than try and risk going a second clear of everybody. Through turn 9, turn 10. Try and keep it planted on the exit. That was good. Up towards the line, though. A 32-6. We were only a second clear of Jensen Button. I don't know if that's going to be enough, actually, here. Got a few more cars coming around, but we might need to go back out again. Well, there we go, then. It is pole position by nine-tenths of a second over Jensen Button. But more importantly, yeah, both Renaults on the second row there. Fisichella lining up down in P4. Michael Schumacher down in seventh place. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do as we move into the Grand Prix. But we just need to try and take as many points as we can out of all of them. But having Alonso towards the front of the group, mathematically, I am happy with. Quickly though, before we get into this video, I want to thank all of the names you see on your screen. Without their continued support of the channel, none of the work we do here would be possible. And if you want to get your name featured on this list, you can click the join button or click the Patreon link down in my description below and support the channel from just £1 a month. You will also get access to weekly updates about everything going on behind the scenes and also occasionally some early pre reviews on videos so yeah a massive thank you to my youtube members and my patreon supporters and let's get back to the video we're coming to you live from istanbul park for this year's turkish grand prix istanbul park is situated in the asian hills on the outskirts of the capital though fairly new to the formula one calendar with the first grand prix stays here in 2005 the circuit has already achieved some notoriety spa has its eau rouge Istanbul has turn 8, considered by some to be the toughest turn in Formula 1. It's one of those corners where you really need to commit yourself, but overcommit and it's likely you'll come a cropper. It's a clear day here at the moment, good visibility for the drivers. You have pole! Jensen Button is alongside him on the front row. They're followed by Fernando Alonso in third. Giancarlo Fisichella completes row two. They are followed by Felipe Massa in fifth. Juan Pablo Montoya takes sixth. Michael Schumacher lines up in seventh. Jarno Trulli occupies eighth on the grid. Well, I have to give a shout out to Nick Heidfeld late on this season. He's constantly upsetting the top ten. You know, we kind of had these big five teams early on in the year. Uh, and after he somehow won the British Grand Prix, we still don't really know what happened there. Um, yeah, he's just constantly been there or thereabouts fighting uh, with the bigger teams towards the end of the year. And it would be exciting to see uh, how BMW Sauber would continue to develop in the future. I really wish, you know, this game had, say, performance updates and, you know, driver moves as well. It would be so, so cool. Maybe on a modified PC version uh, that would be possible as well. But, yeah, we're ready, though, for the Turkish Grand Prix. I want to make it another win. But yeah, of course, big priority at the moment is outscoring Giancarlo and Michael by as many points as we can. Massa and Alonso I do need to worry about, but nowhere near as much. Trying to get the last little bit of heat into the tyres. We've done a pretty good job, actually. And look at that, pretty much all of them high in the 90 degree range. Would also be quite cool if you could overheat the tyres on this game. Uh, but we'll remember to get the traction control of the ABS back on. And we'll wait for those cars at the rear of the field. Only seconds to go before we're racing. Can really feel the tension. Go! Oh, not my greatest start ever. Alonso gets off to a great start. So does Button. Here come the drivers plowing into the first corner. Button leads out of turn one. You're following him. Next is Alonso. I simply did not want to take risk there through that first corner. His button very, very slow. Down through turn two and turn three. Careful as we make our way up over the curbing. Can we immediately try and go back on the offensive on JB? Yes, we can. And around the outside, we'll go then and back up into the lead of the GP. So only a momentary scare then at the start of this race. Showing green tyres. They've heated up nicely now. Fisichella has hung on to P4. I would love to see Massa maybe try and get round him as well. Of course, Felipe uh, winning his first race ever 
in the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix, if I remember correctly. You see yeah, his first win for Ferrari as well there, but oh, a little bit deep down at the end of the back straight. You've got to be so careful. Don't run over that Astro turf, but it might leave us slightly vulnerable to JB. Is he going to be able to get the slipstream on me? He's only three tenths back at the moment. Might try and have a look to the inside here, but we've got pretty good top end speed this weekend. There's Jensen Button looking for it, but breaking super late. And I think Alonso now trying to apply pressure to my fellow Brits. Yep, Alonso will say thank you very much. And Jensen Button took the lead at the start of this Grand Prix, but by the end of lap one, he's down to a disappointing P3 then. So hopefully he's going to have some pace to at least keep Giancarlo at bay. Um, but yeah, Alonso, he wants to fight this one. Let's take a look at what's happened right down the rest of the order. Has Schumacher held on to grid position as well as that is not the line through there? The field looks like this. You now lead the race. Alonso is second. He's up from third. Button is third. One place down from his grid position. Fourth is Fisichella. Felipe Massa is fifth. Montoya sixth. Michael Schumacher is seventh. And Raikkonen is eighth. Good start. You just put on your best tyre through sector one. Hasn't gained anything off the start of this GP, so the gap to him hopefully will come down by a fair order main by the end of the afternoon. Istanbul, though, it's actually a really short race, especially if I bin it. Um, yeah, it's a fast lap here. And that's not going to help. Damn it. Just got on the grass. We'll try and rejoin as best as possible. And we'll come out back down in sixth place then, right behind Juan Pablo Montoya. And as soon as I said about how we might be able to outscore Michael Schumacher by some good points, immediately have I gone and made my life more difficult. Can we get a run, though, on JPM down in towards the braking zone? AI like to break early. Yes, we can. I always forget how slow the AI are through that corner, and apparently how slow they are on the brakes there as well. Round the outside of Felipe Massa. Hoping we won't have to change the wing at the pit stop, but that's another place gained. No. Oh, I didn't know that curve had a little bobble on the outside. Oh, Felipe, come on, man. How slow do you want to go through there? It's almost into the pit lane accidentally. That's really annoying. Just making little mistakes here, trying to open up the track slightly too much. Michael Schumacher is seven, and Raikkonen is eight. No. No. Oh, I've got a puncture as well. Is that our title dreams done? We've got a front puncture. I don't know whether we'll be able to go to the end of the Grand Prix or how the car's going to handle with this flat. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be spinning around on me. Like whenever you get a rear puncture... But that has been an utter disaster then early on here at Turkey. We can't turn right. Uh, sorry, left even. We just cannot turn left to save my life. But, of course, we can't do anything else about it at the moment. We'll try and get somewhat back near the road at some point soon. As car now constantly wants to try and pull left, despite the fact it won't turn much more aggressively. Come on, go, 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 go. So much time being lost. As Mark Webber there tries to get around me. Oh, this is just an utter disaster. Well, I don't know whether we're going to be able to go to the end of the Grand Prix or not on the new set of tyres or with the amount of fuel the team are able to put in. So as we try and make our way into the pit lane, though, we have just about made our way back. So suddenly now, this race might be damage limitation. We'll have some clear track space to really try and pound some laps out. But if we're only, what, a second or two a lap faster than the AI... It's going to be no easy feat between now and the end of the race. Need to try and have a good, tidy stop, but it is going to be slow. Hopefully the team are going to be able to put all the fuel in. Go like that. Oh, I pressed the wrong button somewhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go like that. Go, 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 go. 16 and a half seconds. That is an utter disaster. And yeah, we have now... Got a mountain to climb towards the end of the afternoon. Have we got enough fuel, though, to get to the chequered flag? That's the big one here. If we've got enough fuel, then it's not over. Yes, we have. Fantastic news. But already, Giancarlo Fisichella and I think Fernando Alonso lead in the way. It's going to be an annoying one-second penalty as well. I've got about a minute over me. We've got to be four seconds a lap faster to the end. But we are absolutely still going to try and give it everything to the end of the GP. 
We're running close to five seconds quicker than Sarto so far. Let's not forget as well, we will gain a load of time back when the AI inevitably have to pit. So I don't think we've quite got to be four seconds a lap faster. But it's certainly still going to need to be a lot. Okay, so Giancarlo Fisichella then is into the pit lane. So this is going to be a more representative gap of what we need to try and find towards the end. He's coming out of turn one. As I've still got about 20 seconds left of the lap. Oh, we're definitely making more moves then in this Grand Prix. So it's not... It really yet isn't the end of the world just yet. We've got about a sector to try and take out of Fernando, though, inside 10 laps. Each sector around here is pretty even at about 30 seconds. But we've got to be so much faster still. Christian Kleenek clearly didn't fancy much of a fight. As we are still sitting PBs every single time. But it's just how late you can break into some of these corners. But yeah, I think roughly we've got to be a second a sector clear of Fernando. But honestly, looking at the gaps, I think one of the... No, no, Button hasn't pit yet. So I think Giancarlo's under pressure. Nope, we need to try and move up the field, Mark. A 130.6 is a fast lap. Whoa, what's going on here? Sato and Heidfeld trying to dispute P11. Oh, that was close. Heidfeld there really tried to cut across the nose. I would have rather we got some slipstream off the pair of them, but we'll take the double overtake. As Button, I think, will still re-emerge in P2. That's good against Giancarlo. Well, I've never known someone spend so much time near the points, but seemingly scores so few. As Yarno truly has managed this year, as somehow will slide down the inside of our teammate there. Clearly doesn't want to make it easy for me, though, but we are through. And every place now we gain is a big bonus to our title hopes. Well, I was really hoping we'd have someone maybe in front of me that would have a mechanical issue in this Grand Prix, but it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. I reckon we can get ahead of Montoya. Um, but we're going to really struggle to do much more than that, especially now as the tyres starting to fall off. Oh, come on, nice run on Rubens, but we've got to be really, really careful now with where we take risk towards the end of this race. Can we try and switch him off the corner? There's still Jensen Button doing a fantastic effort further up to keep Giancarlo at bay in P3. We're just really, really lacking the grip late on in the race down through there, but hopefully we'll try and get a slingshot as Rubens out onto the back straight. Definitely our pace advantage is starting to wear thin. Come on, Barrichello, move. Please, man. We don't want to lose time towards the end of this. There's still a little part of me that wonders what more we can get here. Maybe a button and Giancarlo start slowing each other up. It's nice to actually have a straight line speed for a change. And around the outside we'll go. Back into the points at long last. Well, Kimi Räikkönen then breaking way earlier than I was expecting. And Kimi, I'm so, so sorry. Oh no, Kimi Räikkönen's still slow on the road. Is he going to potentially slow down anyone else with a lap to go? I think he's just about got out of the way there. And poor old Kimi Räikkönen. Yeah, we have well and truly ruined his day, haven't we? Who has started his final lap. I hope he does, to be honest, because it... In second place. JB still hanging on to P2 ahead of Giancarlo. But I reckon we can still get potentially Schumacher and Montoya on this final lap. But it really does depend on how quickly we get around Michael. Will affect whether we get a run at Juan Pablo. But to think where we ended up early on here, the fact we've recovered as well as we have is nothing short of a miracle. But every point counts. Come on, one more sector to go off this Grand Prix. I think any hopes of Juan Pablo are gone. But once again, it could be a late race scrap with Michael Schumacher there. We've got to try and get a good run out onto the back straight as Fernando Alonso looks set to take the victory here. But we are going to lose more points to Fisichella in the championship. But will it be a two-point deficit or will it be a three-point deficit here? As you can see how much we gain on the German into the final corners. First place and earns a well-deserved ten points. Button will take second. It's not enough in the end. It's P7 in the Turkish Grand Prix. That is heartbreaking.
So there we have it, an amazing Turkish Grand Prix and what a circuit. This is proving to be as unpredictable as ever. I can tell you, I was standing down at turn eight during Friday practice, watching the cars make those four consecutive high speed turns and I promise you it was a sight to behold. I can recommend it to anyone who visits here, just brilliant. In two weeks time, we travel to Northern Italy, to Monza, where you can bet your house there will be a huge presence of fans for Ferrari. We've had a wonderful time here in Istanbul, and we hope you have too. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon for the Italian Grand Prix. Well, there we go. Both Red Bulls unable to see the chequered flag this weekend, and Kimi Raikkonen as well with that puncture lay on. Again, he just broke way earlier than I was expecting into that corner. But that means now in the championship, Giancarlo Fisichella with an eight-point lead over Schumacher. Uh, but we are now 14 points behind Alonso and Felipe Massa. Effectively now, if Giancarlo scores nine more points in the final four Grand Prix, we can't be world champion here. So hopes and dreams are running out late on in this brutal, brutal game. Constructors-wise, 13 back from Toyota. Renault uh, retake the lead of the Constructors' Championship as well. But we are not giving up yet. We are going to drag this out to the bitter end. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll be back very soon ready for the Italian Grand Prix.